What's going on guys? Sophisticated here bringing another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the top lane. We are up against a Tom Kench. He's running Grasp, Teleport, and Flash. Pretty uh, normal stuff for a Tom Kench. We are on patch 14.6. So a lot of... Honestly, League's been having a lot of changes every single patch. Seems like it's a big patch. But a lot of the AP items got nerfed this patch. As well as just a bunch of items in the game. But that doesn't matter to us, because what we're going to do today is, what I want to try out is because we have a good amount of AP. We have Vagar going AP, and our uh, Kaisa said she's going to go AP as well. So what I want to do is go a Triforce build this game. I'm actually going to come contest this guy. Oh, we got Tom Kench here. I actually can't run into him right there. It's all good. He actually got a ward or something there. One jump ahead of you. But yeah, I want to do a Triforce tier build. Man, I mean, we're going to go AD, basically. Kind of like Bruiser. This guy is going to kind of beat us up early. Not really much we can do. He's actually very strong with Grasp. Look for at least a PTA trade on him if he lets us. If not, it's not that bad. We did not trade too terribly into him. He's just going to look to slap us with his tongue. It's all good. Go for a little W on him. Honestly, it may have been better to take Grass in this matchup because then at least when we autoed him, we'd have been trading Grass procs. But it's all good. I think uh, it's going to be a lot better for us playing against his teammates. So we're not going to really be playing to kill this guy a whole awful lot. But I think the PTA is going to do a lot better like against his team. Definitely uh, Grass is going to be better for himself in the lane. But that is all good. Uh, we race messed up our W's there. Uh, we're kind of doing pretty terrible in terms of CS here. Uh, he's gonna. I think he's got his hop. Away. I might just ignite him right away. Proc PTA here. Nice. That was pretty good. Get his TP nice and early as well. Shoved out this next wave. What Graves is doing right here is absolutely the right play. He's helping me shove this out. Definitely a good play by the Graves. Just going to look for as much poke onto this guy as possible. And then I will get a reset in here. Pretty pretty solid. This guy, ooh, he's going armor too. That's going to play into us a little bit. But yeah, we're going to grab that tier nice and early. And I think we'll sell this. Grab a refill and then just jet back out to the lane. I don't need to use my TP because this wave is going to shove out to us anyways. Good hook shot. Got his flash. Pretty, pretty solid. Plus, we have a Vagar this game, too. So, he's going to be pumping out so much AP damage. So, I think we'll be fine going to AD. But, yeah, let's go. Um, let's see. Where's the Bruiser builds? There we go. And we're going to do Triforce first. This will be good because it's going to give us a lot of attack speed. Going to give us some, like, health so we can actually, like, stay in the fight. I don't even want to contest this guy at all because... Their jungler is more than likely grabbing this scuttle since my jungler's bot side. So I'm just going to let this guy shove this wave into us and we'll collect whatever we can under the tower. Tom Kinch really can't like pressure us super hard under the tower. All he can do is just throw his little tongue slaps at us. So we'll just sit back, make sure we're in range of these couple minions that are dying. Make sure we get XP. And then we'll just collect the wave under the tower. Fizz does really well with just CSing under the tower. Just grab what we can. Definitely going to be a W max build as well. That's where pretty much all of our damage is going to come from. Looks like the team's doing pretty well. This guy might be able to farm some demolish stacks on us here, but it's all good. Maybe not since he... Uh... I'm fine with taking that little bit of damage. Honestly, it's not that bad. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't take a uh, tower shot there from that auto. Ooh, I'm walking into these, though. All right, not bad. 37 to 26. We are down a little bit of CS, but it is what it is. He doesn't have his tongue up, so we'll just go get a nice little trade onto him there. We do have Graves in the area, but I did just use my ability as well. My E, rather. Although I might be able to bait this guy out here. 
He's just gonna use his little E away. Oh, uh, let's see. Do we get him? We do not get him with the splash. That's fine. I don't think we go over this. Yeah, because they're top lane or they're mid lane and the other guys there. I'm not level six because I was splitting XP with this guy. I don't know why this guy's pressuring like this. The only thing I can think of is maybe Diego's in the area. He eats me, but I think I'm fine. Yeah, that's all good. Got his ult. I think we just fail here. We get the kill on him, but yeah, I had to basically just... I think he's dead here. I had to throw my ult just to save the Graze, but he goes down anyways. I think I'm going to go this instead of the Sheen. Come on, let's go. I don't even think I TP because this wave's going to go in first. That really sucks for me because this wave was slow pushing. It should crash, so Tom should miss some, but yeah, not that great. Our, the rest of our team's doing pretty well. I just had to all in the Tom Kinch because it like Graves would not have been able to get out of there with Viego coming. Our, my only hope was to just all in the Tom Kent and then try to fight the Viego with Graves. But all in all, it wasn't really that bad of a fight for us. But I am going to throw my, my ward down right there. Same thing. This wave should shove out to us. So I really don't need to step up too far because this guy's just going to tongue slap us and be able to beat us 1v1 pretty easily. So we will just catch the wave under the tower and just play the game like that. We're, like I said, we're not really playing this game to beat this guy 1v1. It's a Tom Kinch. We're just not going to be able to do it. But we will play to scale and be able to influence the map and help our teammates. Dude, that tongue lash goes so far, it feels like. Nice. We dodged that one. That's really good. I'll hit that guy with a little bit of damage. Dude, wow. I am extremely surprised that that wove through the minions like that and still managed to get us. All right, we're only down a little bit of CS. Yeah, there's really no point in taking trades with this guy because we'll just be giving him free grasp with stacks. So I think we just farm up the waves here. Try our best to not get nailed by his little tongue slaps. So I think our third item as well, we're going to go Kraken. Because I think that'll be really good against the, the Tom Kench in particular, but also just really good into their team. Yeah, we'll just have to kind of play a little safe here in the early game. Once we get into the mid game, we can look for team fights. That's when we'll really look to kind of be aggressive with this build. But until then, we are just farming it up, boys. I honestly kind of want to get a reset in here because I'm, I'm pretty far extended and I don't know where their jungler is. The wave is just in a terrible spot for me here. Because we could reset and grab a Sheen. This guy just has all the pressure in the lane right now, unfortunately. Plus, Viego. I have a feeling Viego's in the area with the way this guy's positioning. I'm fine with sacking a bunch of CS as long as we get the XP from it. That's really all that matters. You can kind of tell the way that... Man, those tongue slaps just hit so far. I think I'm going to get a reset in. Because I can grab the Sheen and come back and potentially be able to do something. This wave's shoving into us. Our jungler's clearing our, up the red buff. So, I think it's just a good play here. The only bad thing would be is if Viego comes. In which case, I think we just go for Viego instead of uh, the Tom. And if he resets, that's fine with me too. I think they're potentially doing Void Grubs. I'm dodging into this guy. Um, my laner is for sure going to be coming to this. This could be bad, but Viego's kind of mid lane just messing around with Vagar. I almost want to just come sit over here and see if maybe Viego will roam over here. And I can catch him potentially. An enemy has been slain. Here comes. Nice. All right, we go three for three on the Void Grubs. That's pretty good. I have my ult and ignite, but I don't know if Graves will want to look here. He's taking his Krugs. I can't really step up. Ooh, wow, that hits. Oh, 
ignite him right away. He's gonna hop away. Maybe I can look for a slow onto him here. Get the slow. I can tank too, I think. That's all good. We got his flash. It's pretty good. He should have his TP up, I wanna say, potentially. If he doesn't, he's gonna miss a lot. I can maybe stop his back there. Uh, I was hoping I would stop his back there. We'll get one plate and bail. Got his TP. He's got that Sunfire, man. He is going to be tanky. I gotta reset, though. This is such a bad time for him to invade right there. Because I'm resetting. I mean, Tom has no flash. Nice, they killed the Diego. That's a good cage. I think I want to double E to get back into the lane faster. I have the tier, so I have a decent amount of mana. Ooh, this is a good Swain room. It's a really good room by Swain. Nice, we do not miss the cannon. Still same thing. This guy is definitely way stronger than us, so we're not going to really look to fight him 1v1. We are just going to be playing for the mid to late game. I am dodging down every time. I got to stop doing that. We got to just play for our team, boys. Plus, like, this guy isn't doing a whole lot against us anyways. Other than just poking us and getting a little bit of a CS lead on us. He's not getting many plates. He's not solo killing us or anything. So, all in all, not bad. If I had Grasp, I would absolutely look to trade with this guy a lot more than I am. I'll eat that little tongue slap. Not sure where this guy is. Could just be sitting in the bush. Go ahead and pop a pot and just leave the wave right here. All right, he's chilling. Probably type into his teammates. We got Graves coming back up. I have my Ignite in 30. Got our ult up right now. We do have a little bit of kill pressure on this cat. It'll be tough without Ignite because he's just so dang tanky, man. He doesn't have Tongue Slap, so we'll look for a little trade onto him here. Eh, that Tongue Slap is so strong, man. I might have to reset. Graves isn't... Looking for a gank up here, and I might be kind of vulnerable, honestly. No, Viego's bot, so I should be fine. All right, we just don't dodge down here. Okay. I gotta be careful. He can actually kill me here. If he goes back in, I'll try and look for a alt play onto him here. He can just eat me, though, is the problem here. I just gotta reset. Let him have the plates. We can back and grab Triforce. Just uh, at this, like in this scenario, you just have to not ego it. Just let the guy have your tower. It is what it is. He's tankier than us. Actually, he's not even going to take the tower. Wow. Okay. That's massive, actually. That's super good. And we still have our TP. So I'm not going to TP to this. Not for the couple minions. Now that it's unleashed TP, we have a little bit of a TP advantage over that guy. Might TP down to this, though. Nah, they got that. They don't even need me. They don't even need me. Just going to save that TP for potentially something else. The Triforce is super nice with this little speed buff, too. That little phage. Little phage pass if you get. After killing a minion. The attack speed's also very nice as well. All right, let's come throw a ward down over here. This guy's just going to hold the wave. That's fine. I might even be able to look for roams at this point. See if we can't catch this guy. So the next item we're going to be going into is our, like, the AD. Does he, does he know? Oh, I don't even have my uh, ult, do I? That's a kill. Nice. Just QW onto him with Ignite. And then, yeah, well played by the Camille. This Camille is honestly carrying so hard, man. She's involved in so many of these fights. Oh, what's Tom Kench doing here? If they're going to go for the Herald, I think we just let them. Because we have Gray's bot side, so we can't really contest the Herald. I'm not going to go that way. He could mess me up, especially if Viego's shadowing right around this area. 
All right, we need tier two boots. I think, let's see, they have they have a decent amount of CC, so I might just go Merc Treads here this game. The cooldown boots would be nice, but I think, yeah, the Merc Treads are just gonna be better. Can we contest this? I am not sure. Didn't really have anything good to TP to. I think Kaisa might just be toast there. I don't think I can kill that guy. It's gonna be close. Nice, she gets him. Can maybe turn back onto this cat. He's gonna look to ult one of us, right? Ah, uh, we gotta bail out of here. The die is a little strong. She's got all of her feathers right there too. I'm just gonna come back up top lane. I mean, I think we could take that. Viego's dead for 12. I don't know. They're, it looks like they're... I was going to say, they might be coming to the mid, from the mid lane. Let's see. Tom Kent should come contest this. He was pretty healthy. If not, we have the Sheen, so we can do some pretty good damage here. A lot of extra attack speed as well. It's going to be close. We might be able to get this. Oh, i got to be very careful here. I might be toast. If I get hit by this tongue slap, I think I'm just dead. Yeah, I'm dead here. Got his flash, though. Not the greatest. Somehow I had a shutdown. That's a little wild. Yeah, I think Merc Treads is the play here. We'll go Merc Treads into this item. Gonna give us some ability haste. Honestly, not that bad. So I think what I want to do is go... Yeah. The man immune into Kraken, into like a Titanic, I think. I have TP up, so I can TP to some one of these fights. I just need a ward. I'm, TP. I'm spamming my TP onto this. Let's see if we can't come down here. I think we get Zaya as long as she doesn't flash or something. Nice. Didn't get anything myself, but just being there is big for the team. And we'll just push this tower out. Like I said, we have attack speed and we do have the sheen too, so we can actually see it pretty well. All right, now we just farm up. Let's see if we can't look for a fish under this guy. I don't know if we can kill him. Yeah, nice. Just doubly on top of him. I think I died here, right? No, I don't. Oh, all right, boys. There it is. The FF. Taking the after action after this. Fist all right, fellas, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Tom Kinch top. And yeah, this game was, honestly, it was kind of a stomp in my team's favor. Everyone on my team just kind of popped off. I think it all honestly started with this Camille. This Camille, funny enough, this Camille was the top lane main and asked me if she could top lane. And I told her, yeah, not so much, man. I really want to get a top lane game in. But yeah, big shout out to pretty much everyone on my team. I do think that the Camille was the biggest facilitator. Our Graves played really, really well, too. He gave us, you know, funny enough, he actually came up top a couple times, which is a little weird because, you know, if I'm a jungler and I see a Fizz top into a Tom Kinch, you know, I'm probably not playing for that for that Fizz very much. But he came up multiple times, gave us a couple ganks, really helped us basically at least go even with the Tom Kinch in lane. And I think we were about to snowball out of control. Like, we had 9k damage. So did he. He dealt the most on his team. We dealt more damage than anyone on their team. Now, did we do as much as people on our team know this Camille went you know 19,000 damage that's crazy bro that's so much you know that's more than three other people combined but we were really starting to turn on our build was actually about to really come online after we pick up this man immune item like our our actual side lane I don't think anyone other than Tom Kinch would have been able to fight us 1v1 in the side lane like if we caught Viego if we caught Rise if we caught either, any one of these guys we'd have been able to do a lot of damage because I, with these guys this is 20 ability haste here the uh, man immune item, I think, gives like 15 or 20. So that's 35, close to 40. And then if we build another ability haste item, we'd actually have a lot of dueling potential. But yeah, I'm excited to try that build again. I think I'm going to run another top lane game after this. Try and get a little bit deeper in the build. Because I think after the man immune item, Kraken is good. Um, you could go Titanic as well to amp up your, your uh, base damage from Trinity Force. And then, yeah, maybe go something tankier. Go like a tanky item too. Uh, maybe some armor, Jack Show even. 
But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but yeah, fellas, if you enjoyed that video, drop a like. If you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button. It really does help to push our content out to other people. Helps us get discovered and grow the community. And yeah, stick around for the next video.